Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, let's talk about another benefit that I haven't listed in my 30-day carnivore review. If you haven't seen it, make sure to click here and check it out first. Let's talk about that benefit. Let's talk about taste. Guys, the carnivore diet is the perfect way to reset your taste buds. 100%. I did the keto diet before. In the keto diet, you're still eating avocados. You can still eat certain berries and whatnot. You still are exposed to sugars. With a carnivore diet, on the other hand, you get zero carb if you abstain from honey and from yogurts and milk. That is, once you eliminated all the sugar out of your diet, your taste buds change. It is a total reset button. After the 30-day experiment, I started reintroducing carbohydrates just for athletic performance, not because I was craving it, quite the opposite. If it was up to me, I would have stayed carnivore forever, but I started losing weight and for my bodybuilding goals, it was just more beneficial to add carbohydrates back in. But let me tell you, those carbohydrates are not enjoyable at all all anymore really when i eat a potato i get bored i feel as if i am seeing it for what it is a potato yes potatoes are boring boring as hell no matter what dr mcdougall and the starch solution might tell you those foods are not naturally appealing to us at all. I mean, if you want to dive deeper, then you will have to face the fact that potatoes are not naturally occurring. You have to plant them, to cultivate them, and then you will have to cook them. Potatoes are boring. And the same goes for rice and pasta. Since I was on the zero carb carnivore experiment, my taste buds don't react well to sugar, to carbohydrates at all. I prefer egg yolks, cheeses, blocks of butter any day over any carbohydrate source. As I said, nowadays I'm just using them for function, but you will have to try it out for yourself. Once you go zero carb, you will clearly see the difference between nourishing animal foods and empty carbohydrates. Let's face it guys, the vegans will tell you that those foods, the plants, come with the highest nutritional value. That is of course bullshit. It's all empty carbs. Yes, I know, there are even worse foods. If you look into Twinkies, into Snickers or just white bread, of course those carb sources are even more deprived. But if you look into rice, if you look into potatoes, pasta, go even so far and go into lentils if you will. Those things are super low in key nutrients. They cannot stand the comparison with organ meats or red meat. Of course not. They are devoid of all nutrients. You have to overeat on those carbohydrate foods and in turn you will just chuck down tons and tons of sugars. You will absolutely lower your insulin sensitivity. You will trash your pancreas with those practices. There are many doctors out there, Ford Brewer being one of them, I'm gonna link his channel in the description box, who was plant-based for, I believe, over 28 years and now is a type two diabetic. This is what the vegans will have to face. You cannot overeat on carbohydrates every single day. Our bodies are not adapted for it. We evolved to eat meat. Simple. We've been eating meat all our existence, all our waking lives. This is what our machinery runs best on. So guys, I'm gonna cut it off here. Just a quick short video. Give it a go. Once you reset it, your taste buds you will perceive food in a totally different way. You will see carbohydrates for what they are. Just sugar, empty calories, empty of nutrition. Try the animal foods for yourself and let me know how the experimentation goes for you. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. 
And as always, guys, much love and peace.